sing that awaits those who have committed their lives and their heart to Christ in paradise is joy. The description that we see here is completely opposed to, way the, to the way the world is today. There will be no more crying, no more death, no more pain, no more mourning, for the old order of things has passed away. You see, what God has prepared in eternity, what God has planned in eternity, for those who have surrendered to Jesus, for those who love him, for those who persevere to the end, what he has prepared in eternity, for those who walk in faith and obedience and surrender, and who have given their hearts to Christ as Lord and Savior, is so beyond the imagination of the human mind that we can't comprehend it. We can't even imagine it. What God has prepared in eternity for those who have surrendered to Jesus, for those who are following Jesus, for those who are persevering in their walk with Jesus, it's not easy, but they are persevering. They are focused on Jesus, what he has planned. It's so spectacular, it is beyond the imagination of the human mind. You can't comprehend it. I can't comprehend it. We can't imagine it. What does the Bible tell us? 1 Corinthians 2.9 says, do you know what it says? Exact same words. It says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no human mind can conceive, the things God has prepared for those who love him. No eye has seen, no, no ear has heard, no mind can conceive the things that God has prepared for those who love him. But there's a condition. These joys of eternity, the sweating feast, the things that God has prepared are exclusively and only for those who love Christ. Not for everybody. It's only for those who love Jesus, who have surrendered to Jesus as Lord and Savior, who have given their hearts to Jesus and who love Christ as the bride loves only her groom exclusively. That's it. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody who says, I am a Christian. We said last week that words are not enough. We said the week before 